Yo, this your boy, Young Chop. You are now tuned in to HotNewHipHop.com. Today's host is Young Chop. HotNewHipHop.com. I love it. I didn't, didn't, I didn't waste no time on it. I just went right in. I really did most of the recording at my house. My own house. I usually go to um, CB Mix Studio, Glass Tree Creators. But this time I just recorded half of the album at my house and half of it at the studio. So it really wasn't really too much process. I just put seven songs on it. Uh, two of them was like recycled ass songs that I put from my... Uh, my latest mixtape called Let Them No Chop. I felt like people slept on them too. And I just want them to wake them up on them two songs because I like them a lot. Favorite song? Um, my single, um, Ocean Vision. That's the hardest shit on there. Yeah. They like and get money right now. It's a little catchy ass song I got. Get money, I get money. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I put a lot of time, you know working into that one. My mom was through the process of that and shortly she did, you know passed away after that album. It was a vibe thing. Uh, I don't really know. I had started the beat on the computer and everybody else just you know chipped in. Keith and CB. I like doing different things that people didn't you know underestimate a nigga from doing. I named it 8417 because that's where the house I grew up in with my grandma. Um, ain't a lot. Just from my hood. Born on the west side of Chicago, one four. That's um 14th in my fucking woods, you know. Um, moved to the south side. I used to fight a lot. Yeah. Grammar school and shit like that. Niggas thought I was a bitch or some shit. Used to be beating their ass. Niggas know. <laughs> I was in high school. I think I was a sophomore. I was just named myself because I was thinking of names in my head and shit. Like what I want to call myself. I was like, I need something with a young in it. And I was like, young child, that should have be hard. I'm like, all right, cool. But that was just on some rap shit, though. I was never like a producer type nigga, but I always made beats. But I ain't never want to label myself as no producer. Then once I met this little black motherfucker named Keith, I just became a producer. Weird. Tell for real, I've been, I've been saying this shit for five years, six years now, man. The fuck is going on? Who the fuck we got to call? Big John. One chopper. Come on, man. What the fuck, man? We need to do this shit. Lil Uzi. I like him. I fuck with him. Because I think he's just a fucking weirdo. I love it. Uh, XXX Estatian. I love that nigga. Even though he, they did just knock his ass out. I respect it, though. You know, he's a fucking talented artist. Niggas need to listen to his shit, though, for real. Like... I heard a little country song he did. The shit was hard as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga Cold. Kodak Black, definitely. I'm just happy because that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's the home team right there. You know, we just went platinum and all that. Hey, I'm working on the tour. I'm working on the tour. I'm talking to a couple of um, agencies and shit like that. Probably some merch or some shit like that. I don't know. Because I ain't put out no merch in so long. I might do some new merch. New blogs or something. Just, you know, just keep the fans just entertained with me. Get back on my shit. It wasn't no crazy stories. I was just in the house by myself just, you know, recording certain songs. I don't really be bored. Like, I be bored as fuck. Lonely and shit. Motherfuckers don't come and see me and shit. It's all right. Fuck y'all. Shit, I'm the king of drill. That's it. Fuck them. <laughs>